Hello everyone, I'm John C. aka Year of the Collector, coming to your screen from the Nerd Initiative Comics bullpen to give you a spoiler-free review of Marvel's Ultimate X-Men issue number 7 from writer-artist Pete Ramoko and letters by Travis Lanham. The first thing to highlight from issue number 7 is the obvious, based on the covers by Pete Ramoko, the first appearance of canon also known as Psylocke in the main universe. Canon is very talented, maybe even a prodigy in the martial arts of Kendo. She has a pretty intense personality to go along with excellent physical conditioning. Canon and her older brother, Tatsuya, get themselves involved in a conspiracy for a cover-up. Who's doing the cover-up? Well, everything points to one direction, in my opinion, but you'll have to read it to find out for yourself. There's plenty revealed about the cult as an organization, their infrastructure, rules, and the hierarchy inside of it, and more importantly, who's behind the cult holding the strings. Well, what about the art? This is absolutely beautiful. The aesthetic of Peach Momoko's classic Japanese watercolor art style is just a pleasant experience. This is usually the busiest issue Peach Momoko has put out so far. There's plenty of new and recognizable characters and multiple locations that help build this side of the world. Although it has the vibe of a manga series with the over-the-top caricature expressions, it still manages to be serious and ominous when it wants to be. All in all, I give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. And with that being said, this was John C. aka Year the Collector from the Nerd Initiative comics bullpen thank you for watching have a blessed day and remember to read more comics